Tenth Lecture 2. A monk or a nun being pressed by nature should, in case they have not their own broom, beg for that of a fellow ascetic. A monk or a nun, seeing that the ground is infected by eggs or living beings, etc., should not ease nature on such an unfit ground. But if the ground is free from eggs or living beings, etc., then they may ease nature on such a ground. A monk or a nun, knowing that the householder with regard to such a place for the sake of one or many, male or female fellow ascetics, for the sake of many shramanas or brahmanas whom he has well counted, kills living beings and commits various sins, should not ease nature on such a place or any other of the same sort, whether that place be appropriated by another person or not three, etc. Page 181 now he should know this, if that place has not been appropriated by another person, etc., he may ease nature on such a place. A monk or a nun should not ease nature on a ground which for their sake has been prepared or caused to be prepared, or has been occupied by main force, or strewn with grass, or leveled, or smeared, or smoothed, or perfumed. A monk or a nun should not ease nature on a ground where the householders or their sons remove from outside to inside, or vice versa, bulbs, roots, etc. A monk or a nun should not ease nature on a pillar or bench or scaffold or loft or tower or roof. A monk or a nun should not ease nature on the bare ground or on wet ground or on dusty ground or on a rock or clay containing life, or on timber inhabited by worms or on anything containing life as eggs, living beings, etc. A monk or a nun should not ease nature in a place where the householders or their sons have. Do, or will put one by bulbs, roots, etc. A monk or a nun should not ease nature in a place where the householders or their sons have sown, sow, or will sow rice, beans, sesame, pulse, or barley. A monk or a nun should not ease nature in a place where there are heaps of refuse, furrows, mud, Page 182. Stakes, sprigs, holes, caves, walls, even or uneven places 1. A monk or a nun should not ease nature in fireplaces, layers of buffaloes, cattle, cocks, monkeys, quails, ducks 2, partridges, doves, or francoline partridges. A monk or a nun should not ease nature in a place where suicide is committed or where expose their body to vultures or precipitate themselves from rocks or trees three, or eat poison, or enter fire. A monk or a nun should not ease nature in gardens, parks, woods, forests, temples, or wells. A monk or a nun should not ease nature in towers, pathways, doors, or town gates. A monk or a nun should not ease nature where three or four roads meet, nor in courtyards or squares. A monk or a nun should not ease nature where charcoal or potash is produced, or the dead are burnt, or on the sarcophaguses or shrines of the dead. A monk or a nun should not ease nature at sacred places near rivers, marshes, or ponds, or in a conduit. A monk or a nun should not ease nature in fresh clay pits, fresh pasture grounds for cattle, in meadows or quarries. A monk or a nun should not ease nature in a field of shrubs, vegetables, or roots. Page 183. A monk or a nun should not ease nature in woods of Asana 1, Sana 2, Dataki 3, Kataki 4, Mango, Ahsoka, Panaga, or other such like places which contain leaves, flowers, fruits, seeds, or sprouts. A monk or a nun should take their own chamber pot or that of somebody else, and going apart with it, they should ease nature in a secluded place where no people pass or see them and which is free from eggs or living beings, etc., then taking, they should go to a secluded spot and leave the excrements there on a heap of ashes, etc. This is the whole duty, etc. Thus I say. Footnotes. 180,2 Ukra Pasavana Sataka, Discharging of Feces and Urine. 180,3 Pura Santaracata, here translated Svakrita. The text proceeds Gavabaya Nayadam V.A., which I do not know how to apply to the object in question. As three differs from two only in giving page 181 the negative attributes, I have contracted both paragraphs in the translation. 181 to 1 Parisadim Suva, explain Parikshepanetika Kriya Kuryu. 182 to 1 The translation of some of the words in the text is merely conjectural. 182 to 2 Vataya, I think this is the modern Batak, 
Duck, 182 to 3 the commentator says, where they fall like a tree, having starved themselves to death, or where they fall from trees, 183 to 1 Terminalia tomentosa, 183 to 2 Crotillaria juncia, 183 to 3 Grizzly tomentosa, 183 to 4 Pandanus odoratissimus, for free.